Hello, my name is Nick Gerard, and this is my blog. I wanted to have an opportunity to be able to share my story and my journey with my friends and family and people all over the world who have reached out and shown support and shown uh, just a tremendous amount of love and concern for, for myself and my family and it's just important that I'm able to communicate with you guys and share this journey with you as I uh, navigate through all these new amazing, uh, scary, frustrating and, uh, and sensitive issues as, uh, as I battle and, and fight to conquer all of the things that, that, I, that I'm going through. On September 24th, 2017, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and um, cancer of the liver. This all started as a result of uh, having a bowel blockage, not being able to uh, go to the bathroom. I hadn't gone to the bathroom in about two weeks and had just tremendous stomach pain and cramping and uh, like most guys, I, you know, usually just brush it off and say, oh, it'll get better and things will get better and um, well, they didn't and uh, the pain got to the point where I, I buckled and finally asked my wife to take me to the doctor and um, that's when we found that I had a tumor on my pancreas that was pushing up against my my bowel um, causing causing the blockage. Um, it was at that time that I was actually admitted to the hospital. Um, they wanted to find out exactly what was going on with that tumor and um, biopsy results uh, showed that it was that it was cancerous and thus started the journey. I'm 36 years old I am a father, I am a husband, been married for 16 years to a beautiful, amazing woman, and I have three beautiful boys, age 14, 12, and 10. So my journey pretty much begins with the fact that disease, uh, whether it be cancer, whether it be anything, is really just a circumstance of, of life, and it doesn't determine my future, it doesn't determine my uh, my prognosis. Uh, oftentimes people ask me, and I know it's out of love and, and out of concern and curiosity, they ask, you know, what is, what's the prognosis? What does the doctor say? How long has the doctor given you? And to be completely honest, I've never even asked and the doctors have never said because uh, it doesn't matter. My prognosis is not in the control of a doctor. It's not in the control of a, of a, of a treatment or a drug or anything other than that. My prognosis is 100% in the control and in the hands of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See, my faith really lies in the fact that God is a healing God. God is, is somebody who uh, loves you and loves me and died for us and you know, the Bible says in Isaiah 53 that he was bruised and battered for our iniquities and that by his stripes we are healed. And that's a verse that, uh, that's a promise that I'm standing on and, and many others who are surrounding me, family, friends, uh, colleagues, people that I've never even met are also standing on these promises that God is a healing God. And so I'm going to be making uh, these videos every once in a while. I'm going to be writing and journaling my story. Um, I hope that it becomes a, a testimony of uh, who God truly is and what He can do in your life in the midst of uh, the storm. Um, well, this is my storm and, and I'm ready to share it with you guys. Um, good, bad, the ugly, there's going to be times where uh, undergoing my treatment, uh, I may not feel very well. Um, there's going to be times where, you know, I just don't feel very positive. But those are the, those are the moments when I really want to, to capture and journal because, um, you know, nobody fights alone. I've got a tremendous amount of support and love around me. And, you know, my attitude is this, is that 
the majority of life's troubles can be solved between your ears. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's a, it's a mental attitude, it's, a, it's an outlook, um, it's a believing, it's a faith. Um, it's not a, a matter of, you know, Scientology or, you know, name it and claim it. Um, you know, if you think good thoughts, good things will happen to you. You know, that, unfortunately, that just isn't reality. Um, so many people think good thoughts and bad things happen. It's just life. We live in a broken world. And uh, so what I really mean by that is that my, my attitude and my mentality is going to, you know, my goal is to maintain that as a, uh, a constant reminder of who God is. Uh, you know, when I look at my condition or I look at my circumstance, um, it's easy to get depressed. It's easy to get, you know, downtrodden and, and look at, you know, what's happening and, and think, oh, poor me. You know, I'm only 36 years old and all that kind of stuff. And um, my attitude is really, what is it that God is going to teach me through this season of my life? Um, how can I be a blessing to other people through this? How can my faith, um, or my attitude, and my strength be uh, an encouragement to other people who might be going through similar issues or um, other issues that are just as difficult? That's my goal, is, is I want God to be glorified in all that I do, no matter uh, what the circumstances, no matter what the outcomes. I trust God. And that's one of the hardest things that anybody can say, honestly. Um, you know, I was listening to this song the other day, a uh, Christian song on the radio, and, and the song is uh, called Thy Will Be Done. And as I was sitting there laying in my chair, you know, just I had the lights off and I was just meditating on, on the goodness of, of God. And, and those words just came over me and, and I just kept playing it over and over again. And, and I just began to weep because, you know, in that moment I realized that those are the four most difficult words to say and to truly mean it. Thy will be done. You know, what, the, what that means is you're saying to God, my will, uh, my wife's will, the, the will of others around me is subordinate. It is not, it's not as important as your will. I want your will, God. So thy will be done. It's a, it's a complete and utter surrender of everything that you desire and everything that you want. And in that moment, it, it just broke me because I realized what a, how, how difficult it is to subvert everything that you want and everything that you feel that you need to, to the Lord. Um, so that's, that's, that's really my journey. I, I hope that you guys can stay tuned with me. Um, I'll try to keep these videos brief. I'll try to keep them informative. And, you know, I, I really hope to, to build some great friendships and build some, some new friendships out of this. Um, I encourage people to communicate with me and ask me any questions at all. I'm really an open book. There's nothing um, that, that scares me or bothers me. Um, the, the main goal of this is just to share the goodness and the amazing uh, virtues of, of my Lord and Savior, uh, regardless of circumstance. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all of your prayers. Uh, one of the biggest questions people ask me all the time is, you know, I'm praying for you and I'm praying for your family. What else can I do? I feel like that's not enough. And I just have to say that the biggest thing that is the most cherished from me is, is your prayers. Um, you know, your honest and true prayers. I mean, I've ha had people message me from all over the world saying that they're praying for me or that their church is praying for me or their small group is praying for me. And that gives me so much joy and it gives me so much um, comfort knowing that God is, uh, that my, my story and my situation is being lifted up to the Lord um, from people all over the world. And uh, that is, is just a tremendous comfort to me. So thank you so much for your continued prayers and your continued support. Um, feel free to email me at nickgerard at gmail.com, N-I-C-K-G-U-E-R-A-R-D at gmail.com. And please make sure to check out our blog at Every Heart 
restored.com. Thank you so much and God bless.